This is the Booze and Bullshit Show, and man, do I have some fucking bullshit for you today. So the past couple weeks, we have seen multiple channels scribbled by DMCA, many of which were wrongfully applied, with Bearings channel being removed having 300,000 plus subscribers, and shows that really anyone can get fucked over by this. Now with Bearing, he was using an image from a bear from a TV show, so I can see at the very least why it happened. But not allowing him to correct the issue and rebrand his content, yeah, I think is kind of shitty. We also have the drunken peasants who have around 120,000 subscribers got two strikes for commenting on Tommy Sotomayor's content. One more on the channel could be removed. They are currently in the process of suing him on the grounds of fair use. I want to encourage my audience to donate to their cause as it will help my channel as well. Their lawsuit will provide a precedent for future uses of fair use on YouTube. Just follow the links in the description. Even though YouTube's official stance on fair use as of November 2015 states, some of those uploads may make use of existing content like music or TV clips in new and transformative ways that have social value beyond the original, such as parody or critique. In the U.S., this activity is often protected by fair use, a crucial exception to copyright law which can help discussion and creativity across different mediums to continue flourishing. It's unfortunate that YouTube's process to appeal a copyright strike is so poor. How do I know? Well, my most popular video, Smugly Puff and its Army of Cucks, recently got a copyright strike on it from a multi-channel network called Auxiliary Mode, claiming on behalf of Rebel Media. They're now taking all my advertising revenue from that video for themselves. I saw that the YouTuber Chris Raygun is also in the exact same situation as I am. The I admit he has a shitload bigger audience than I do. He is fighting the same copyright claims from Auxiliary Mode for the same exact content. Now, in an effort to be civil, I contacted Rebel Media, Auxiliary Mode, Lauren Southern, the reporter in the video, and even Chris Raygun, and received absolutely no reply. I reached out because if I appeal their claim to take all my revenue, I can potentially get a copyright strike, and three strikes on your channel is gone. They claimed three separate instances on the same video. So if I appealed all three and they decide to uphold them, then, well, I'm fucked and my channel is gone. Currently, Auxiliary Mode has until January 5th to review my appeal. The way YouTube worded it, I think they just have to review it and say if they agree or not. Yeah, that's fair. They can make a claim and just have to confirm, yep, that's the bullshit I claim. And you wonder why the official YouTube blog said, we recognize that creators can be intimidated by the DMCA counter notification process and the potential for litigation that comes with it. Well, yeah, of course they're going to be intimidated when you threaten to take away their channel for just standing up for fair use and not having faith in the system because, well, they've seen it so many times where people get kicked off for absolutely nothing and just complete and utter bullshit. So the past week or so, I spent all the time that I normally would making content on researching my situation and trying to figure out the right way to move forward. Unfortunately, YouTube's words don't match their actions and how they resolve claims. So my video was coverage of a news event, commenting and criticizing the content and the actions of those involved. And I should point out that I highly doubt that Rebel Media got release forms from Smuggly Puff, especially seeing she was, she, he, what, I don't know where the fuck it is, giving the finger to the camera and, oh, and the other tranny guy causing a fight with someone. So yeah, I highly doubt that they got the proper release forms as it is, and I don't think that they actually would have the full right to distribute the content for that reason alone. But that's why these laws need to be revised, and unfortunately, the laws are always like 20, 30 years in the past. We need to revise it, we need it to be better, but it's unfortunate it's like this now. I would like to encourage all my subscribers to follow me on Facebook and Twitter in case for whatever reason my channel just disappears one day. Links are in the description. It happened to Baron, he got three strikes all at once, and as of my writing, he's still off YouTube. If you're interested in reaching out to auxiliary mode on my behalf, I encourage you to do so, but I must stress that it's important that you be polite and professional. The content is from Canada, so they would fall under a provision called fair dealings, not fair use, but it's very similar. Their email is info at auxmode.com. Anyways, please bear with me while I work on resolving these issues. Share this video everywhere as the more awareness of this situation, the better it is for my channel.
tweet it to other creators who are potentially going through the same issue, donate to the Drunken Peasants as their lawsuit can significantly help me in the future. I hope to get back to making my regular content for my audience very soon. Unfortunately, I may have to tweak a few things to avoid strikes in the future. Thank you for being a subscriber, and thank you for your support. But there's some bullshit in the world that just kind of needs to be dealt with, and unfortunately, it comes between me making content for my audience.